This one's going to be on a follow-up video that we did last time um, on Python HTTP server. So that one you can't actually upload back to your server. Well, this script you can do that, and this one's called simple HTTP server with upload. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is download the script, and which I already downloaded. But uh, so you download the script. It should be on this uh, page here. I'm not sure if this is the official page, but this is where I got it, right? So download this sucker, and um, make sure you give it chmod, uh, you know, plus x permission, and all that. So chmod plus x. And in the script name, basically, if you don't know this, it will give you, uh, you know, the permissions to run the script. Otherwise, you can't do it. Uh, so that's what we did there. And the next thing you need to know is the IP address that uh, the script is going to be run on. All right. So to do that, is do uh, if config here. And depending if you have a wireless, it would say you know WLAN zero. But I'm using Ethernet, so we do Etho zero here. And the IP address that they assigned us is, is um, what's that? Right here, this one, 192.168.1.105. So this is our router IP that we're going to use. So remember that sucker. And what is that? Um, well, since this one is a Python 2, to figure out what Python you have, you can do, uh, you know, Python dash capital V. And I have Python 2.7 over here. Most newer distributions they have Python 3 and it's not going to work, so you need Python 2 if you want to use this script, right? Should be in your repositories and install that. So you're going to do Python 2, sometimes 2, 2.6, 2.7, whatever it is is fine, right? And then you type in the script name, which is that. That's how you, uh, you know, execute it manually. So you hit enter, and you see now it gives us a port. The default port is 8000 here. Um, so we have the IP, now we have the port, that's all we need to know. And all you gotta do is here is 192.168.1.105 that we had before, and then colon uh, 8000 was the port. And there you go, this is our um, server, right, that we can access our files. So these are some of the files that you saw earlier in uh, our server. And if you want to download it, you can download it by, you know, right click on any of these suckers and save as. Or if you click on them, uh, depending on what it is, it will actually, you know, allow you to uh, keep it or discard it. Uh, if it's a simple text files or a script or something like that, those are just, um, you know, just run it into your browser because your browser can understand those. Same thing with images, you know, your browser can understand those. Um, so that's it for that. Now as far as for uploading, you just choose the file here. And let's say we go back to public and uh, what are we going have in here? Not public, let's go to pictures or something. All right. And just pick one, open, and then hit upload. So there you go. Click back. And now you have that Brazil football fan or whatever. And there we go. That is the picture that's uploaded. Simple as that. Now, as far as uh, changing the directory that you want to display it from, um, since by default it'll use your, um, let me see, let me cancel out of this. What the fuck? There we go. By default, it'll actually just, um, you know, if you're in your temp folder here, that's going to be your root folder, you know, in here. So that's why you see all the files that we have in here um, is the exact same that is, is serving. If you want to change folders on here, you know, I probably recommend you make a, a function or an alias uh, with this. So I'll show you that how to do that right now here. Um, most people are running bash, so we do a, a bash uh, RC here. Just change that. So you do, let's say we use nano for this. How about that? And then you do a dot bash RC. And at the bottom or something, let's go to the bottom. I already have one up right here. But basically this one. It's just called, um, uh, the name of it, I give it to it, is uh, HTTP server here. And I'm using Python 2.7. If you have like a 2.6 or something like that, you might have to use that. So change that around. And you point it to the script. Where is it at, right? So my script is in my home folder, uh, temp, and then the script name. So it's just Python here. Now as far as this, um, by default, the port is 8000. But if you ever want to change your port also, you can do, uh, you know, give it a different port. So I'll give you that example here. 
but after you copy and paste this here, I'll give you in the link description or whatever, right? Uh, just do a control O, enter, control X, get out of nano, and make sure you have to uh, run bash again so to reload our um, bash RC. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that. So normally, if you would want to change port, you would do um, what was that? I think we did it before here. Python, I spell it right, 2.7 and a script name so this is what we did before right and that one will give us a port uh, is that 8000 here if you ever want to change ports you do the same thing it's just that you give it like a was that 97000 or something like that or not 97 9700 I mean uh, and then you hit enter and now they have a different port so all you do here if you you know reload this it's not gonna work anymore so you want to change the port to uh, 9700 here and there you go, that's their new port. Now, as far as, um, you know, that's running it manually uh, from that location of that script. But now that we have a, uh, uh, was it a function? We can go to a different, you know, location. So let's say we go into um, our music folder, you know, music and albums, right? So this is my music here. And if I want to run that in here, um, our, uh, function was called HTTP server right and you hit enter and this one will be uh, 8000 here so let's go back to that one 8000 and now you see that all my mp3s are showing up in here and I can click on them hopefully what is this one here is that slow there you go it has CD1 CD2 whatever right you get the idea so you can browse the directories if you want. Now, if you want to want to change um, uh, what was that port with this um, function, you just type it out. Like to say, uh, uh, what was that? Maybe we did eight thousand was the default, so we do like uh, ninety nine hundred or something on that. And you see now it changes uh, to ninety nine hundred. So all you do is change it here, ninety nine hundred, and there you go. You can run this uh, multiple times. You don't have to just run like you know one at a time. You can actually do it on different um, ports. Okay, I'll give you an example of that if I remember how to use Tmux on here. So let's do let's run Tmux on this sucker. This is my server, by the way. So how the hell will you run Tmux on here? Let's see here, this one. That's the default. There you go. So now we have uh, a folder up here and a folder down here, right? So we do CD, let's go back to our home directory here. And let's go into our temp folder before that we did already. And from here, we're gonna run, um, what was that? Uh, what was it called? Server, no, no, no. No, HTTP server, right? And here, we'll just run it from um, the temp folder. By default, it'll give us, let's say we do a port uh, 8001 here, okay? That one's down there. Now, as far as, oops, I did it wrong. Let's see here. As far as um, up top here, okay, we'll do the same thing. We do HTTP server, and we'll say 8002, right? There you go. So it's running both of them on different directories. So this one's the MP3s, and this one's just my temp folder. So let's go to 8001 here. And this one's the temp folder. And let's open a new tab. And we'll do the same thing, but uh, on a different port. 8002, right? There you go. So now you can access both of them at the same time. Uh, you know, using different tabs on your browser or whatever. So one, it's going to uh, the temp folder. And the other one is just my music folder. Um, so that's how you run, you know, multiple... Uh, servers on different folders if you want to separate them like some people they want you know music um, pictures and you know movies and all that so do that you can do more than that you know not just two just give it a different port though that's the that's the difference right any port you want but just give it a different port and then you connect it to uh, you know from your laptop your tablet your phone whatever the fuck you're connecting from that'll be it for this one